Hi everyone, my name is Peter and thanks for joining me at Our Worship Sound. I got an email a couple weeks ago from a subscriber. She was asking about creating um, chord progressions, especially for background music. And she was saying that she was comfortable with playing one chord to four chord uh, piano progressions, but she wanted to go beyond that and have a little bit more variety. So let's talk about some of the things we can do to uh, expand upon that a little bit. First of all, the most important thing you need to do is you need to start th thinking of chords less in terms of their names and more in terms of their chord numbers. And what I mean by that is thinking about chords in terms of the, the scale tone upon which they're built. So what I mean is, by we're, for example, we're playing in the key of C major. We have the C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. Uh, if we give each one of those scale tones a number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a repeat of the first one, each one of those notes can serve as the base or the root of a chord. So we end up with a chord built off the C or a chord built off the D and so on. We're going to give each one of those chords a number. So we have the one chord, the two chord, the three chord, and so on. Okay. So when you start to think about chords within the context of the key that you're playing in and giving them numbers like that, it's going to unlock a lot of the relationships between the chords that you're playing, and it's going to give you a lot of confidence for playing your own and creating your own chord progressions. Okay, so as the original question said, starting with the one chord and going to the four chord is a really good place to start for creating a basic chord progression. What we can do to go beyond that is to first of all understand that using the four basic chords, which are the one chord, the four chord, the five chord, and the six chord, we can create a lot of different uh, chord combinations based on that, okay? For this whole video, I'm gonna stick within the context of C major. And if you want to apply this to any other key, just figure out the scale and build your chords based on that scale. Okay, but for here, we'll stick with C major. And um, to use that concept, let's talk, let's play through a one, six, four, five chord progression. So the chord built off the first note to the sixth note, to the fourth note, to the fifth note. Okay, so we have C, A minor, F, and G. Okay, so just using those four basic chords, there are actually two dozen um, possible combinations of those chords. So there are a lot of options there. But there are a couple things we can do to go beyond that. One of the simplest things that you can do to take yourself beyond these four basic chords is to uh, do something that you can almost always do, and that is substitute the two chord for the four chord. So if we look at this, um, the two chord within the key of C, would be D, and the two chord is minor, so we have a D minor chord. The two chord is going to serve the same harmonic function as the four chord, so it almost always works. It's just going to have a slightly different color and a different bass note. So let's replace the four chord in that progression that I just played with the two chord. Let me go back and play the four chord as part of it again, and then so you can hear the difference, I'll go back and play the, I'll first play the four, with the four chord and then go back and play it with the two chord. So just a subtle change in color there, but it'll take you outside of those four basic chords. Another thing that we can do um, to go beyond these four basic chords is to play slash chords, okay? Uh, what we can do is take any of these major chords and play them as slash chords by taking the, the third of the chord and playing it in the bass, okay? We need to um, switch gears a little bit with our numbering system. We're not talking about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're talking about chord numbers now instead of scale numbers. So chord numbers, we have one, three, five, and we have that for each chord. So the one, three, five of the, the one chord, the one, three, four, five of the F chord, and the one, three, five of the G chord. These are all major chords. And what we can do is take the third of each chord 
and play it in the bass as a slash chord. So instead of C, we can play C slash E. Instead of F, we can do F slash A in the bass. And then we have G slash B. Okay, so now let's go back to our original um, question, which was the one chord to the four chord. Instead of playing C, we can play C slash E. Let's play this going to the F, and I'm going to start on F, okay? Okay, so the difference here is in the bass. We have just a half step movement in the bass. Instead of a fourth. Which is a much larger interval, okay? And also that C doesn't quite sound as final when you play it as a C slash E. So that's another improvement there. Now let's go to our one, six, four, five, and instead play it as a C, A minor, and then F slash A, G slash B. So we'll replace the last two chords, uh, just use them as slash chords actually. So here we go. Okay, so you can see by just adding a couple of techniques that we can greatly expand our possibilities in creating basic uh, chord progressions. If you'd like to know more about chords, there's going to be a new course coming out January of 2017 called Fluent Piano Chords. And uh, it's going to expand upon these concepts and help you understand them really completely and teach your fingers where they need to go to be able to play any song on piano by chords. Uh, another thing good about it is it's going to lead right into the current piano course that I have available, which is called Fluent Piano. We're actually going to be renaming that Fluent Piano Melodic because it covers a little bit more of like the, the melodic details of what we're talking about. So um, the chords course is coming. Uh, right now you can you can take a look at Fluent Piano Melodic, or right now it's just Fluent Piano. Uh, but we'll be making those changes and coming out with that in the near future. So uh, lots more to come. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.